What you're looking at is a species that many scientists believed had gone extinct over a century ago. This is Papua New Guinea's black-naped pheasant pigeon, a bird that had not been recorded by science in over 140 years. But that all changed after a discovery in 2022 that was so improbable that one scientist compared it to finding a unicorn. This is the story of how that discovery happened, the extreme lengths it took to find a single bird hidden in the mountains of a remote tropical island, and the new threats that could now erase it forever. The tale of the black-naped pheasant pigeon, known to the indigenous people as the Awo, begins in the late 19th century. Ferguson is the largest island in Papua New Guinea's D'Entrecasteaux archipelago. It is 555 square miles of razor-edged ridges, volcanic hot springs, and rainforests so dense that vast interior valleys remained unknown to outsiders well into the 20th century. And it's this isolation that creates an ecosystem home to unique wildlife found nowhere else on Earth. In 1882, two British naturalists landed on the island to catalog its wildlife. Among the animals they collected were two specimens of what they described as a chicken-sized ground pigeon with bronze-green plumage, a long fan tail, and a distinctive jet-black nape. At first, scientists assumed it was simply a local variant of the more widespread pheasant pigeon found across mainland New Guinea. That species comes in several regional forms, green-naped, gray-naped, and white-naped, but the Ferguson form is distinct enough to stand as its own species. Otidapaps insularis, commonly known as the black-naped pheasant pigeon, and hidden on a single volcanic island, it became Papua New Guinea's rarest bird. The reason for the species' decline isn't completely clear, but most likely due to a combination of factors. The bird's biology was one of its major vulnerabilities. Like other pheasant pigeons, the black-naped variety nests on the ground and lays just one egg at a time. And this slow reproductive rate made populations extremely vulnerable when invasive predators arrived on the island. Polynesian rats, followed by feral pigs, both rooted through the undergrowth where the birds nested, destroying nests and eggs. And by the 1990s, ornithologists feared the worst. The species was listed as critically endangered, but most likely extinct. The original 1882 specimens, preserved at the Natural History Museum in the UK, became the only proof that this bird had ever existed in scientific records. By 2020, the black-naped pheasant pigeon had become what conservationists call a lost species. Most experts assumed it had joined the long list of birds driven extinct by habitat destruction and invasive species. But by 2019, a new global effort began. The search for lost birds was a collaboration between BirdLife International, Rewild, and the American Bird Conservancy. Their mission was simple but daunting. Track down species that hadn't been officially declared extinct, yet had gone unrecorded for decades. The program compiled a list of more than 150 lost bird species, including the Siau Scops Owl of Indonesia, the almost mythical Negros Fruit Dove of the Philippines, and of course, the black-naped pheasant pigeon of Ferguson Island. To begin the search, Jordan Borsma, a postdoctoral researcher at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, joined conservation biologist Jason Gregg and local expert Doka Nason for a two-week preliminary survey in 2019. They found no feathers, tracks, or calls. No direct proof that confirmed the birds still survived. But their search wasn't completely fruitless either. Several villagers described encounters with a large, secretive ground bird unlike any other on the island. These weren't old legends. They were sightings from a few years earlier, and the details matched perfectly with the 19th century descriptions of the pheasant pigeon. Based on those interviews, the researchers returned with a full-scale expedition in September 2022. Eight specialists arrived on Ferguson Island, including Papua New Guinean scientists from the National Museum, Cornell Lab researchers, and field experts from the American Bird Conservancy. Their plan depended entirely on indigenous knowledge. Rather than scatter camera traps randomly across the island's rugged terrain, the team traveled from village to village, speaking with elders and hunters, letting local expertise guide every step. Yet even still, the early results were discouraging. Villages in central and eastern Ferguson had never seen the bird, and many residents had never even heard its name. But everything changed when the team reached the remote western slopes of Mount Kilcarra, an area so isolated that few outsiders ever visit. Here, hunters immediately recognized what the researchers were describing. They knew the Awo, and better yet, they could even point to specific ridges and valleys where encounters had occurred. In the village of Duda Ununa, a hunter named Augustin Gregory provided the breakthrough the expedition needed. Gregory had seen the pheasant pigeon multiple times in recent years. He described its behavior in detail and, most importantly, led the team to the location where he believed camera traps might capture the bird. 20 motion sensor cameras were placed across Ferguson Island. 12 were set along Mount Kilcarran's steep slopes at sites identified by local hunters, while eight more were deployed around areas villagers had mentioned during interviews. 
As September stretched toward October, the expedition neared its end and the camera traps hadn't offered a single result. But just 48 hours before the team was scheduled to leave, the impossible happened. Jordan Borsma collected a camera trap from the ridge, expecting nothing. As he scrolled through the footage, a plump, rust-brown bird stepped into frame. Glossy black head, jet black nape, bronze green body, a long, laterally compressed tail fanning behind it as it walked across the forest floor. It was the first time in recorded history that the black-naped pheasant pigeon had ever been photographed. Borsma called it the most surreal moment of his life and compared it to finding a unicorn. When the team reviewed all their camera footage later, they found a second individual captured on a different camera several kilometers away. This was undeniable evidence that at least two pheasant pigeons were alive, giving hope that a tiny population endures. The footage was a momentary victory, but also an alarming discovery. The species might not be lost yet, but given how hard it was to find, it's still critically at risk of extinction. Today, the black-naped pheasant pigeon is considered the most endangered bird in New Guinea and one of the rarest birds on Earth. Fewer than 250 mature individuals are believed to remain, and we hope that a tiny population endures. The footage was a momentary victory, but also an alarming discovery. The species might not be lost yet, but given how hard it was to find, it's still critically at risk of extinction. Today, the black-naped pheasant pigeon is considered the most endangered bird in New Guinea and one of the rarest birds on Earth. Fewer than 250 mature individuals are believed to remain, and many experts think the real number is far smaller. Perhaps only a few dozen birds cling to a single population in the area around Mount Kilcarran. And the threats that nearly wiped it out have not gone away. They've intensified. Now, logging has become the most immediate danger. Industrial operations began encroaching on Ferguson Island in 2012, targeting forests once considered too remote to exploit. Even as the 2022 expedition was taking place, the landowner of the very forest where the bird was rediscovered had just signed a deal with a logging company. Climate change adds another layer of pressure too, as rising temperatures threaten to shrink the cool mountain forest the Awu depends on. Conservation efforts are racing against time. Organizations are negotiating with local landowners to protect critical habitat around Mount Kilcaran with the goal of establishing formal protected areas for the first time on Ferguson Island. But the real key to the bird's survival is the community that protects it. Villages involved in the search now take pride in their awo. Hunters who once sought the bird for food are becoming its guardians, using traditional knowledge to safeguard nesting areas and guide scientific surveys. New research efforts are also being planned. Full population counts, long-term monitoring, and the first studies of the species' breeding behavior. Everything we learn now could make the difference between survival and extinction. The awo story shows that indigenous communities often hold the keys to conservation breakthroughs that Western science misses. This rediscovery happened because researchers trusted local knowledge over academic assumptions, and it's this very partnership will determine whether this remarkable bird survives. Subscribe to see how other conservation projects are protecting the world's most endangered species.